So, race four in our last race here from Foss Lass is the Rising Sun Farms Novice Maiden. Over two and a half miles. Very small field here. Chase. So it's Blue Dawn for Stu Gray is number one. Henry Crime for James Shea is two. Mackenzie Castle for Jim Murray is three. Kalani Flip for David Robertson is four. Magic Girl for David Hooley is five. Market Tavern for Pontiary Racing is six. Ozark Slipper for Vinny Gerard is seven. Top Shelf for Craig Beckwith is eight. Velvet Curtain for Martin Leadham is nine. And Wild Neat for Craig Allen. Hems is ten. Start has got him away here. Smallfield and Novices. Let's see how they fare. Start the top of the bend here for the two and a half miles. The chase course will be led by Velvet Curtain. Well, taking a hold. Just eight fences to take here. They're into the first. Oh, everyone's over that one. No, they're not. Henry Crime went. Oh, lucky for, I think, James Shea there. Lucky. Into the second. We'll get over that one. Poor jump for uh, maybe. Light blue silks, purple hoops, near a cap of Kalani Flip. Gets to the first of the ditches. And all over that, slow jump at the rear by Wild Neat. But we're still being led by Velvet Curtain. It's got about three lengths advantage as they're going to the fourth. A bit over that as well. A couple of sticky chunks at the rear. Ozark Slipper didn't get over it well for Vinnie Gerard. Wild Neat stepped over it as well. We get to the fifth. Again, a couple of slower jumps from the pack. And the leader. Velvet Curtain won't mind. You have enough advantage here in the mud. You can hang on to it. So it's Velvet Curtain by about four. So Mackenzie Castle was in second. Magic Girl third. Top Shelf and Market Tavern are fourth and fifth. They're through, followed through by Kalani Flip, Blue Daub and Ozark Slipper wide. And Wild Neat just having a comfortable little run scraping paint from the fence. So then as we watch these ones. Curtain is going to get to the next. To the lovely great big leaf at that time, did well. Velvet Curtain jumping well. A bit slower over that one. And let's move over it as well. So, still Velvet Curtain. And down to the next. Mackenzie Castle, another big jump by the lead up. Doing really well for a novice. His art slipper was a little bit slow. Kalani flipped, jumped himself up into second place. He's going to go over the ninth. So halfway through the fences here. Another nine, another nine to jump. Go past the winning post. So give it a go. It's Velvet Curtain still. By about five. It's Mackenzie Castle, Kalini Flip and Magic Girl. Followed through by Wild Neat, who's moved up now. Mild Market Tavern. Wider still are Ozark Slipper and Blue Door. Top shelf for Craig Beckwith just dropped into the tail and Charlie position. We're only half a length away from the blue daub. So as we come down to a mile left to travel, another eight fences to take. It's still Velvet Curtain. Slogging away in the heavy conditions here. From Mackenzie Castle in second. It's over the tenth well, Mackenzie Castle took that slowly. Still remains in second from Magic Girl in third. Kaliani flip. Big high jump there. Plenty of air. And there's seven, a little bit of a move now. He's blue daub on the outside and the black silks. Green sash for Mr. Grey. But it's Velvet Curtain that still leads us. We're through 13 now. Four to five to jump. So take that one. And all over it. Four jump there by top shelf towards the rear. But Velvet Curtain leads by just a length and a half now as Mackenzie Castle and Magic Girl. Come to throw down a challenge inside the five. Or jump there by Wild Neat. He's probably not going to win this one. But it's Velvet Curtain as they swing left-handed now. With just under five furlongs to go. Leads by about a length to McKenzie Castle or Magic Girl. They've got about a three-length advantage from Ozark Slipper. Kalini Flip on the inside. Someone has got nowhere to go. Is Market Tavern. He's not even looking for space. And the outside of that is Blue Door. Wider still is Top Shelf. Wild Neat still up on the inside. But up front is still Velvet Curtain. Hanging on to this now as we come down to three furlongs to go. It's Velvet Curtain. From Mackenzie Castle, Magic Girl, Kalani, Flip, and Ozark Siver running on well now is Market Tavern. Craig Beckwith's 
Oh, went the top shelf, went through the top of that one. One that's bursting out the pack well as wild meat. But Velvet Curtains put under challenge now inside the two from Mackenzie Castle as they go over the 16th. Through two from home, and it's still Velvet Cart in Mackenzie Castle. Magic Girl Kalani flips, still running well now is wild meat. But as they go over the penultimate, it's Mackenzie Castle. And we lost the leader. Velvet Curtains gone. Mackenzie Castle jumps himself into the lead. We've only got half a furlong left to run. It's Mackenzie Castle just gets over the last. And Kalani flip was running on really well. But it's going to be Mackenzie. Castle was going to take this from Kalani flipping second. Magic, Magic Girl was third. Wild Neat was fourth. Ozark Slipper, I think, just hang on for fifth. Unlucky to Velvet Curtain there for Martin Leadham. He was looking good until his jockey couldn't take no more. He got out the side door. So it's Mackenzie Castle, good win there for Jim Murray. It was actually 11 to 10 on favourite, so should have won. From Kalyani flipping for David Robinson in second. Magic Girl for Darren Hooley in third. Wild Neat for Craig Allen was fourth. And Ozark Slipper for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. We'll have a little mention about Blue Dorber six.